What's going on, everyone? Welcome back to the channel. If you're new to the channel, my name is Akeem Haynes. I'm a two-time Olympian, Olympic bronze medalist, author, motivational speaker, and sports commentator. On my channel, we talk boxing, MMA, track and field, and of course, motivation and encouraging content. If this is something that you enjoy, then I hope that you subscribe to the channel. Now, let's get into the video. Greg Spider Richards versus Richards Balotniks. This is an exciting fight as well this weekend, happening on the Dillian White versus Jermaine Franklin undercard. Let's get into it. Let's start with Craig Richards. He's coming into this one with a record of 17 wins, three losses, one draw, and 10 wins by way of knockout. Richards is a balanced boxer to me, right? Doesn't have the crazy power, but you're not just going to walk through his shots. He's not a guy that you can just go through the motions and try and outbox either. He's been in the ring with some quality opposition, including the current WBA super light heavyweight champion, Dimitri Bivol. We just saw what Dimitri Bivol did against Zerto Ramirez not too long ago, right? So he had some very good moments in that fight. And I think surprised a lot of people Richards with his performance. A, but Richards is a fight. very good technical boxer. He uses the jab to set up his shots and also uses the jab to keep his opponents at bay. He uses his feints well, and he's got long arms, so he can find openings at a distance from different angles. Even in his recent fight against Joshua Boazzi, he landed some awkward shots, right? Some nice uppercuts from a distance and some hooks from a distance that got through as well. Against Boazzi, I mean, that was an exciting fight, and both men gave their all and left everything inside the ring. It was a close fight, even though it was a unanimous decision for Joshua Boazzi. It was a close fight. Some of those rounds could have been swing round. Now in that fight, one of the consistent shots that Craig Richards had a lot of success with, right, was the jab, jab, followed by the right hand straight down the middle. He had a lot of success. Spider uses the jab to flick out to distract his opponents at time, right? Not really flicking it out to really hurt you, but to give you something to look at, to distract how you respond to the jab and then come through with the right hand down the middle of your chest or the chin or the body. Right, I think he disguises his attacks very well. In his fight against Joshua Boazzi, see, every time Boazzi had a big moment, landed a big shot, Spider would come back and respond with shots of his own in the rounds or the next round. To me, he lost that fight because he was slightly less active than Boazzi, and Boazzi landed the bigger and cleaner, more eye-catching shots. But I thought Spider made some good adjustments in the second half of that fight. He started to move around a lot more and not just be stationary and using his feet to come in from different angles to land his shots. He had Boazzi hurt in that eighth round, but he didn't close out the show. Right, Boatsy did the smart thing and tie him up and buy him a little bit of time so he could recover. But Richards is a tough night for anybody, right? Because he's going to bring it and he's got some natural skill and ability inside of that toolbox. But I get the sense that he doesn't really get a lot of support from the British fans. I wonder why that is. For all my British supporters that follow the channel, I would love to hear your thoughts against Boazzi. It kind of seemed like it was one-sided for Boazzi from the fans' perspective, right? But I would love to know what do you guys think about Craig Richard. But I like Spider, right? I'm looking forward to seeing him in the ring this weekend and see what he brings to the ring. Now let's talk about his opponents, Richards Balotniks. He's coming to this one with a record of 19 wins, 6 losses, 1 draw and eight wins by way of knockout. Balotniks is a tough fighter. He's got good size, he's durable, he's got some skills, and he does some good things inside the ring, but I'm not going to sugarcoat this one. Craig Richards is the all-around better boxer, in my opinion, anyway. Balotniks is gonna make him fight, though, right? He's not someone to take lightly. When Balotniks fight Boazzi, he caught Boazzi with some good counter punches and some big straight hands. He was doing well in the fight, and he almost lasted the whole fight, but he got knocked down in the six rounds, and he just took a lot of punishment. He was fighting off the back foot, and Boazzi was letting his hands go and connecting whenever he really wanted to. But Balotniks did have some good moments, but he's not a guy that's going to go away easily. You're going to have to take him out. He's going to continue to come forward, and he is going to let his hands go. He's got nothing to lose. And sometimes when you fight someone that has nothing to lose, they're in a great position because they can fight with taking risks, right? They can fight with kind of that free will to do whatever they need to get it done. Whereas Craig Richards, I think he has to come in and he has to have a statement win and he has to win convincingly 
in my opinion, in this fight. But he can give Craig some problems. But he'll need to take some pages from Joshua Bowatsi's book when they fought and try and close the gap early and not allow Spider to use his reach. And he has to stick to him from inside the pocket and hit what you can see. He's got to make it into a brawl. If he can suck Richards into fighting his fight where Richards is just coming in and he's just swinging and trying to knock him out, he'll have the best shot because he might be able to land a counter shot that could connect right on Craig Richards' chin and it could be lights. So who wins? I'm taking Craig Spider Richards to win. Now, I think Spider can outbox Blotniks easily, no problem, but I think he needs to get a stoppage. And he can get the stoppage if he lets his hands go early. Sometimes Richards can give his opponent too much respect and holds back his hands, right? But I don't want to see that personally. I want to see him get the stoppage. I want to see him in there and get a statement win. And I also think too, if, if the South African Manchunu, right, can get a stoppage against Blotniks, I believe Craig Richards can do the same thing. So I'm going to lean on Craig Richards winning by stoppage in this one. I'm, what are your thoughts on this fight? Who do you have winning this one? Let me know in the comments section below. If you would like to support the channel, there's a couple ways that you can do so. You can like, comment, share, and subscribe to the channel. If you'd like to support by of donation, you can find options in the description below. Also, my Cash App handle and my social media handles will be at the end of this video. Any donation would be greatly appreciated and goes towards the growth of this channel and would be greatly, greatly appreciated. So with all that being said, if you've been watching the video this long, then do me a favor and subscribe to the channel and we'll definitely see you next time.